pest control make millions out of convincing everybody that pigeons are so that it's in their advantage absolutely so, very dangerous. so that's that's a big problem and they uh they will um you know explore every angle they can to try to make people it's actually quite dishonest like i can take a photo of a pigeon i say well they could have this parasite in their throat they could have this virus they could have this like, like any animal but the human can also in theory you can have whatever you know tuberculosis hiv da, 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 da. you can have all those things you can have fungus in your toenails you can have um herpes in here you know if any so animal can have any animal yes. can get this. Yeah, exactly. And we all have our, our own uh, diseases that affect us. So it's very dishonest they do that, you know? I mean, they could also put a dog there, same thing. But they do that because they make a lot of money out of this is their income, you know, by making themselves available. So I think there should be some legal challenge to that. It's, it's really difficult to know what to do. I mean, these are commercial companies that make money out of killing pigeons and it's they've convinced, they, they've also played their part to convince the public that it's a problem and that they're dangerous. But that's why we really need other organizations. I'm actually quite disappointed that I never hear anything coming from wildlife shelters, from um, here in the Netherlands, we have the animal protection, they call it Dierbeschermen, that's kind of a big state funded organization that's supposed to protect animals. I never heard a single word from them to combat this. And they sh they need to start doing it because we have a big problem in the Netherlands, actually worldwide, but in the Netherlands with pigeon torture. Torture. There's been several incidences of people cutting off the wings of pigeons with scissors and then dumping them on the road. Oh my goodness! Uh, even in in Amsterdam, in our main square, I was just there a few days ago, and people who are often on the square because they sell things to tourists, they told me stories about how people would just come there and kick a pigeon so that they're terribly wounded oh and then God. stomp on them. And, you know, they call the police. The other police doesn't do anything. But there's a lot of pigeon abuse going on, and it's 